In high school, I was this girl, shy to raise my hand in class, shy to make friends, not being my authentic true self, and scared to take risks. Now, this girl right here is a help millions of women impact and change their lives, being social, being active, having a purpose, having a plan. And it all starts off with how to obtain confidence, which I'm gonna show you in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey girls, it's your girl Arezi. On this channel, I make self-development content to close the current self and the desired self gap. So let's go ahead and get started on how to actually really have confidence. Step one, obtaining self-awareness. This was such a struggle for me. I developed a confidence about myself that I'm not gonna be shy and timid. And I used to be a complete introvert. You're an introvert completely. I definitely understand what you're going through because I've used to be that person all the time that made me feel so safe, so comfortable. However, I didn't really recognize that that is a weakness and I cannot progress in life if I'm only surrounded by me, if I'm only talking to me, if I'm not getting new knowledge, if I'm not raising my hand in class, if I'm not talking to people to see their perspective on what was taught in class or getting networking or getting to know other people in this life, like I didn't do that. I noticed that weakness when I got my first job when I was in high school and I got my first job and I had and I had to like I forced I was forced to basically interact with people because it was fast food service so that made me so uncomfortable but getting out outside my comfort zone I would have never experienced that I would have never seen that me being a quiet shy and timid girl was my weakness and once I realized that, I started to work on that. And I was like, like, I can't be shy and timid and really go after what I want in life. I can't be shy and timid about my goals. I can't be shy and timid about what I want and what I want to get out of life. I can't be shy and timid to this world. They're not going to be, sh this world is not shy and timid upon me. I need to understand my weaknesses. I need to know where I stand in my weaknesses because if you are able to understand your weaknesses, girl, I'm telling you, your life, your life will just completely fall into place. Recognize your weaknesses, understand your weaknesses, work on your weaknesses. Why do you have weaknesses? How can we get started on those weaknesses? And when can we, when can we start practicing on this? Throwing yourself in situations where it makes you uncomfortable, like getting out to know people, social events, going on Eventbrite, or going on Groupon and finding different hobbies, things. That way you can get interactive or you can look at other women and get inspiration and be like, wow, she carries herself so elegantly. Get inspired. Woo, <sighs> girl, that did so much for me. Like I was able to start making friends. I was able to get to know people. I was able to learn more in my life. And it really did help me with understanding why am I shy? Why am I timid? Why do I not want to get to know people? You know, why am I afraid of this world? Why do I feel this certain way about myself, my body? It could be my face, my hair. Why do I feel that way about myself? I would come to school and I would be smelling so good. And then by literally first period, I was completely sweat out my underpits because I was just so nervous and I had so much anxiety. And the first when I got my first job, I was just like, oh, my gosh, it's really not that big of a deal. Like talking to people is not a big challenge. And it was a big challenge for me at the time because I was on, I was, I, I love to be by myself, like to myself. And once I realized, okay, it's good to be to yourself, but to a certain extent, you need to go outside. You need to go to people because that is going to eventually turn out negatively. Understand your weakness, understand what in your confidence or what you don't like about about your body or your face or your personality and what you can do to either exemplify it or tweak it a little bit the next step i want to go ahead and tell you girls about is understanding your strengths now understanding your strengths will take you to another level now sure i was shy timid nervous had anxiety 
but I had very good grades. I'm very smart. I am very intelligent. I am a reader. I love grammar. I have top classes. Bring about your self-awareness because you're like, although I may have vacuum on my face, my face shape looks fire. My hair is beautiful. Or even if, if you don't like your hair, you can, you, your hair is unique. The textures, girl, your shape, like girl, you're doing a dang thing and you have kids like, wow. There's like so many strengths you can identify in yourself that you're not analyzing on a day-to-day -day basis. You're thinking you're worthless because you, you make these, these weaknesses are filling your brain, filling your thought process as if that's the main point of your life. And that is absolutely not. That's why we have to identify our strengths, your values and your passions. And I leave those for third and fourth place because once you realize your strengths, once you realize your weaknesses, you're going to realize your value, your self-worth. Your self-worth is so much important than toxicity, anxiety, negative self-talk, being around people who don't support you, being around people who want to see you fail. This is a new year, 2024. We are recognizing our self-worth. We are recognizing our strengths, weaknesses. Weaknesses are very important because if you are able to hone on your weaknesses, then you're able to see where you make a lot of your mistakes and you're able to correct a lot of the mistakes. And so the less mistakes you make on, and that could just be like, you were supposed to go on a like alcohol free challenge, challenge and like, you know, maybe you drink too much alcohol or maybe you smoke too much or maybe you wanna get in your water intake or take your vitamins or stay on a routine. In 2024, we will be the woman that we want to become. We're going to set systems, not goals. We're going to be creating a routine that revolves around your life. That could be your morning, your med, and your evening routine. Ladies, why is our life revolving around our routine and not our routine revolving around our life? We have those occasional things that go on with our life like, you know, unexpected events. And I totally understand that. But we cannot let life rule us. We cannot let life take over us. We cannot let that happen. Like, we cannot uh, allow life to get to us where it takes control over our mind, our body, and it swallows us up. I have this new mindset on goals and systems, as you can tell, because in my previous videos, I was always saying, set goals, set goals, set goals. But if you set systems, you'll get to your goals in no time. So what I mean by setting goals, I mean by building a routine that is built around your goals so you have a morning routine you want to lose weight you want to gain weight you want to be more at peace and in your routine you may have to wake up an hour earlier you may have to go go to the gym early in the morning or late at night or eat by seven or meal prep these are the things that you're going to have to do if you plan on getting to those goals it's important to set systems and systems are a lot easier than goals because i used to write goals and this be like such a daunting task and i'm like why is this so daunting well it's because i haven't set a system to get to that goal my morning routine helps me achieve my goals i wake up at a certain time early in the morning you know that girls i make my bed i shower do my hair do everything i need to do just so that i can focus on work i do my priorities first my non-negotiables first and then after i'll take care of what i need to take care of if you work your nine to five job or if you work whatever job you work that is a non-negotiable that is the first thing you do your morning routine should be around okay what do i need to get this done first however However, before I do that morning routine, I do pour into myself. I do read the word. I get into my Bible. I do sometimes also like to do my affirmations, listen to podcasts. I do love to pour into myself first because I also feel like if I don't pour into myself, if I'm pouring into everybody else, how am I going to be putting myself first? In every situation, I need to put myself care first. Your morning routine, building a morning ritual, your evening routine, building an evening ritual, whatever you want to complete in life, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to make happen, build a routine and I promise you, your life will change. The best advice from this video is this. Imagine you were a friend to yourself. Would you talk to yourself the same? Would you give yourself the same amount of 
grace that you don't give yourself hmm every day i don't care if it's on a mirror i don't care if you have to cut off social, certain people from your social media i need you to be talking positive energy into yourself i need you to be telling yourself that you love yourself even if you don't believe it i need you to believe it if you were talking to yourself in a mirror that girl in the mirror was your friend would you treat her like that would you dog her like that would you talk to her in that manner no you wouldn't challenge our that negative self-talk those voices let me tell you those voices are in your head because you are special you are unique you are powerful you are a great beautiful young woman you are smart you are intelligent you are a businesswoman and the 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 enemy doesn't want you to go far because he knows once you go so far you're taking over you're going places you're impacting millions of other people's lives and he's doing that to get to you don't let that get to you use that as motivation he doesn't want you to be the woman that you want to be remember that so every day you got to tell yourself whatever the enemy tells me i'm the complete opposite yes i am pretty i am gorgeous i smell amazing i look good i handle business i have multiple businesses no successful person no happy person invites negative self-talk we have to tell that voice in our head to sometimes shut up and those voices in your head are tricking you out of your spot and you have to keep going that is a sign is keep going challenge that negative self-talk listen to positive affirmations daily that has helped me i will link some down below stop believing those voices and playing into it because that's exactly what the enemy wants those thoughts go round and round and round and round until you stand up for yourself and being like i am not that i'm going to get on it whatever i have to do positive affirmations writing love notes to myself going out shopping buying something for myself treating myself like I, i'm being a friend to myself solo dating myself getting to know myself loving myself when you do that you do not have to starve yourself just be, just because you aren't where you want to be right now. You don't have to starve yourself of that life saying, oh, I don't want to take myself out to, to read a book at the park because I don't deserve this girl. This life we have, you are the main character. You are the main character of life. Enjoy where you are now and appreciate where you are now and love yourself. And the only way to get there is challenging negative self-talk every day take that voice you are unique and that voice doesn't want you to know it you need to challenge that voice you need to challenge that self-talk i am so tired of people just letting others walk all over them when when did people in this society stop telling people stop standing up for yourself oh i know when a few years ago do not let people walk all over you. Have boundaries, have standards. You are a beautiful woman who deserves the world. Not the bare minimum, not the bottom. You are made for the riches. You were made to live that soft life. And I feel like women don't get anywhere where they want to in today's world simply because they don't ask for what they want. They don't get what they want because they don't stand up. They don't set boundaries. They're not being authentic. Ladies. We cannot let people think for us. If I want a man who's a provider, a godly man, why would I let some bum come into a relationship with me? No, I have standards. I have morals. I have self-worth. I have dignity. I don't have a low self-esteem. And if I express what I want, I simply get it just by asking, ladies. Be assertive. Get what you want out of life. Us ladies, we need to understand resilience. Setbacks and failures are a natural part of life. View this as motivation and bounce back. I would always let setbacks get to me. As I got older, I was like, this, these setbacks are not just because of me. These setbacks are because life just be life and sometimes you know i do not have control of life i just need to realize that l's are not for losing l's are for learning learning where you went wrong learning where you could have done better learning what type of person you were then and what type of person you are now and learning from your setbacks you learn more than from winning crossing off a goal that's great but not crossing off a goal is called okay like where can we learn from this you know what i mean that is way more important than getting goals done. 
setbacks and failures are motivation in our times of to think on how we could have done this this better or what what do we need to learn what do we need to experiment on it just opens so many more doors so i want you ladies to realize that setbacks and failures are your motivation and that you can learn so much more from setbacks in life than actually learning from things you actually excelled in and to not take it to heart life is life life just be life and and it's not always perfect we're not perfect here you know we're human we make mistakes life just be life and we get back up we get on the road and keep going we keep trying I remember that i just being grateful for where i'm at in life thinking at the end of the day like thank you so much for this beautiful day the blessings on the way like being grateful will really truly help you be present and truly be grateful for where you are in the now instead of saying i am here think i get to be here we need to stop thinking in this mindset girls of like oh like i'm here you know and and i totally get like where you're coming from but it's the i'm blessed i'm i get to be here not everybody gets to be here. Not everybody wakes up every day. Nobody gets the opportunity to do what they wanna do or gets the opportunity to work where you work or have the opportunities you have. And so really having gratitude on your side would really just help you with appreciating where you are now. So like, yes, your confidence, we're leveling up our confidence, but it's like, let's appreciate our body. At least we did start going to the gym for the first two months of you know the year at least we're you know we're trying to be consistent at least we're showing ourselves grace like okay girl we're trying i see you i see you girl we're not perfect our routines are not always going to be seven days straight heck four days straight let's be grateful like girl i'm glad to be alive i'm glad to be healthy switching that mindset to i am here to i get to be here changes 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 the mindset like be mindful of comparison literally i say this from ear to ear comparison is the thief of joy clean your social media up if it makes you feel down and remember people share what they want you to see positive and they set on realistic goals if you go on social media like a lot of these tiktokers a lot of these like youtubers they don't show what's really going on in their life they don't show like they you know weren't always confident or this and this and that they show positive points of their life only and we know that as humans that's unrealistic not everything in life is going to be positive there's going to be a few ups and downs sure there could be more positive than negatives but we there are already some ups and downs just be really careful when you go on social media stop comparing yourself to those people like people are going to share what they want you to see they're not seeing what they have to go through their mental health and vice versa they're not seeing what you have to go through looking and scrolling at the unrealistic standards or expectations and that's why I really advise like cleaning up your social media seeing who you're following because everybody says like delete social media or like to stop comparing like delete social media or get off your phone like that's not the answer like if you are in the day and age business owner person building a brand you need your phone so I would definitely say be mindful of social media maybe put like a schedule timer on it and that will definitely really help but I say what really helped me the most it was cleaning up my following list and make sure I didn't put like those Instagram models with extreme BBLs and like all the different stuff because that's not my body I'm natural I'm a black woman I live by my own beauty standards. Cleaning up your social media would definitely help to stop your comparison and just stop envying other women. Like if you want to look at another woman instead of being like, oh, like I wish I had her body, you know, work towards that. Like we don't have to envy other people. We don't have to pretend like we wish we want to be these other people because we don't know what they're experiencing in our life. And in turn, our life may be better than theirs. You know, we just never know. So I would just say really be mindful with your comparison. And that leads me to our last tip, which is going to be give yourself permission to fail. Failure is not the end of the road. We're not perfect. Take risks, make mistakes, and embrace this part of your life. Notice how in this whole entire video i did not name appearance i did not name looks i did not name outer appearance because that's not what's important once your inside is healed your outside will be healed and a lot of the times what i struggled with telling myself that i don't have to be perfect at everything i'm not going to be perfect at everything and just realizing to make that i can make mistakes and go on about my life and that it is natural because i am 
human. Taking risks, making it mistakes, that is normal. I'm not gonna be perfect at everything. I'm not perfect. And that's what I need you ladies to feel like. It's okay to have a setback. It's okay to fail. It's okay to one day not listen to a podcast. It's okay to not look at this person's routine and being like, oh my God, I have to do the routine. Like, ladies, do what works for you. Be you. Be authentic. Who are you? What do you want your life to look at? What do you want to do for the rest of your life? How do you want your kids to be? How do you want your life to be? Plan it out. But realize that before you get to that road or before you get to this greener side of this life, there will be ups and downs. And that's okay because that will make you stronger. And that will help you close the current gap to your desire self and that is why i'm here thank you girls so much for watching it's your girl orezi i really hope this video helped you with gaining your confidence i really want to show you the tips that have dramatically i mean dramatically helped me with my confidence i didn't explain anything on the outer appearance because to me that doesn't matter once i got healed my outer appearance caught up and that is what normally what happens um that is what's supposed to happen so you don't need to get all of these fashion tips and advice on getting your looks together and doing all this you don't need to do that what you need to do is heal your insides and once you love yourself you will love your life and you will love how clothes fit you different colors things like that i don't have to go into depth about that maybe in a certain video the insides is what's the most important your insides how you treat people, how you treat yourself, and loving yourself, loving your life. That's what really matters. I pray this video helped you a lot. I shared the tips that helped me gain confidence from a shy, timid young girl to a young businesswoman who is helping impact millions of women's lives. So I really hope you liked this video and you felt inspired. If you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to go ahead and hit the notification bell so you can hear more of these advice videos, more that are on the way. I really love you girls and I really hope this video helped you become more confident because you deserve it and you are worth it.